नमस्कार टू बी इन गॉड कॉन्शियसनेस इज लाइक टू बी इन एक्सटसी ऑल द टाइम लव टूवर्ड समथिंग विच इज हायर देन अस इज द हाइएस्ट लव प्योरेस्ट लव बिकॉज इट इज अनकंडीशनल लव वॉन्ट्स यू नो हाउ टू लव गॉड हाउ टू हैव फेथ इन गॉड हाउ टू सरेंडर योर सेल्फ टू गॉड दैन देर इज नो स्कोप फॉर वरी एंगजाइटी टेंशन हेट्रेड और एनी थिंग योर लाइफ वुड बिकम सो ब्यूटिफुल सो यूजफुल सो हियर आर नाइन वेज टू कनेक्ट विथ गॉड फर्स्ट श्रवणम लिस्निंग टू द ग्लोरीज ऑफ गॉड लिस्निंग अबाउट गॉड now this has to be developed the perfect example about shravanam is the example of hanuman ji hanuman ji is known to be present at the place when the glory of god is being expressed where the kathas and leelas of gods are being spoken they believe that hanuman in any form would definitely come and sit in that audience where all these things are going on so definitely listen to some satsangs read some glories of god and see that you spend some time on these activities second kirtanam singing the glory of god singing chanting is so important gopis are the best examples whenever they would meet they would be together they would do nothing else not talking and gossiping but singing the glory of lord krishna so this singing together kirtana together such activities are beautiful and we should definitely spend some time in these activities this is a very easy way of connecting with god third smaranam always remembering god in life all the time the best example is prahlad he was always in thought of god all the time prahlad is said to have received the knowledge of vishnu when he was in the womb of his mother hence he was born with the memories of vishnu and he grew up remembering the god all the time all the while we always remember god but when when we are in the miserable state when we are having pain and suffering when we want something when desires are not been fulfilled but now remember that we should remember god in success as well as in failure in good days or bad days in happiness and misery so remember god all the time fourth pad sevanam serving the feet of the god the best example is bharat ram's brother when he went to ram he coaxed him that please come back ram didn't he just brought ram's padukas and he put them on the throne and he started serving that and ruling the world so it's a very very strong example that you don't need a human in a human form even some little symbolic things are also great for you to run the whole show so learn to be egoless and surrender to the feet of the higher reality after all who is running the world not you and me keep your ego down surrender to the higher reality and be humble and happy fifth archanam offering something to god the best example is shabri a poor woman old woman always waiting for ram to come to her and when ram came she was flabbergasted she was so joyful she wanted to give something but then what did she do she got some berries and offered him that and that too she tasted that berry has to be sweet and then she offered what a great thing god doesn't want anything but your full hearted bhakti your surrender that is what makes things beautiful you may not have anything big to offer even a simple leaf a simple flower or even a water offering to god is sufficient but what we are offering is your full heart your full bhakti and that is what is required sixth vandanam paying obeisance to god the best example here would be akrura akrura 
was such a personality where God showed him his form, his original form, because he was just paying his obeisance to him. He wanted to see God through and through. He wanted to understand God's every little part. And that feeling was so strong that God definitely came in front and showed his rupa. Now, this is something which has to go deeper into our personality. It is like you want to see God, but there has to be that feeling behind. And God is going to give you darshan, no doubt. So it is very clear. You believe in God fully. Ishwar Satya hai. God is truth. When you have that strong faith that you believe in God, God is there in front of you. Understand this. Seventh, Dasyam. A Dasya Bhav. Mirabai was the example. Tum mere thakur, main teri dasi. You are my Lord and I am your servant. Now this means that in whatever situation Lord puts you in, you are happy with that. You are doing your part in that. Whatever situation it is. So that is Dasya Bhav. Always serve. Always be in a serving state, in a listening state, in an accepting state. In a state where you are seeing nothing else but God's hand everywhere. So in good or bad, everywhere you see God's hand. And you just remain humble like a servant and live life very joyfully. Eighth, Sakyam. Take God as your friend. Your friend who knows everything about you. Who is always there with you in trouble or in need. You believe as Ramakrishna Paramhans used to say, that thing that your one hand is your hand and another hand is God's hand. So whatever you are doing, you are doing with the help of your friend. Krishna and Arjun, they were also very good friends. And Arjun would ask Krishna where to go. Krishna would show him here and Arjun will move ahead to do his action. So somewhere, this Sakya Bhav, a friendship with God, Deep friendship is what is important. Sudama, Krishna's childhood friend. Of course, they parted. But when they met, that oneness as a friend was so strong that that scene when you see in front of you how Krishna is running to meet his friend Sudama when he is approaching is so lovely, so beautiful. This Sakya Bhav is one of a very good bhav which we can create with God. When we are doing the work, we should always believe that God's hand is there with us. God's strength is there with us. God's energy is there with us. That's why we can do everything in life. Ninth, Atma Nivedanam. You are merging with God. And once you merge with God, you see everywhere nothing else but God. Here, the best example is Santa Tukara. Santa Tukara would see God everywhere. Once he was making a chapati and he kept the chapati and dog came and picked up one chapati. And Tukara ran after dog saying that, wait, wait, Krishna, I have to put butter on that. Don't eat without that. Your stomach will ache. I mean, he cannot think of anything except God everywhere. He would be calling Krishna as Vithala. Vithala, everywhere Vithala. So that strong feeling that you are merging with God, everything in nature, everything in the atmosphere is nothing else but God. And you are with everything around. You merge and you expand yourself and you are in a, into an ecstasy and beautiful state. Remember that we are a tiny speck in this whole cosmos above us. Stay connected with this power and be humble and be happy. Namaskar.